This is Pikachu Manufacturing for ME3210 with Dr. Varenberg, and our group decided to cast a Pikachu out of metal and make a Pokemon theme stand. To begin, our group developed a computer-generated model of our Pikachu and sent that to a 3D printer. Once it was done printing, we removed all the support material using a pair of clippers. This would serve as the pattern for our mold. We then laser cut an acrylic box to contain our silicone mold for our Pikachu. We hot glued the Pikachu to the base to prevent shifting. We mixed the silicone base with an activator and then applied it to the Pikachu with a brush. This was in order to maintain its surface detail and prevent air bubbles. We then poured the remainder of the silicone into the box using a very thin stream in order to prevent the development of air bubbles. We did this until the container was full. We chose the silicone for our reusable mold because of its ability to withstand temperatures up to around 400 degrees Fahrenheit. We let the silicone rest for about 24 hours before removing the pattern. Next we began melting the metal. For this project we decided to go with a bismuth alloy because of its low melting point of about 300 degrees Fahrenheit. Next, we poured the molten metal into the mold and let it sit about 30 minutes before attempting to remove. Unfortunately, the first Pikachu was dropped and broke. In the arms of an angel. This gave us the opportunity to work with a warm mold, which resulted in a much shinier surface finish. For the next portion of the project, we created a Pokemon-themed stand. We used the sheet metal feature of SOLIDWORKS in order to create the DXF file that we cut on the water jet. A brace of water jet machining utilizes a high speed stream of water and fine garnet to slice through the 1 8 inch thick steel sheet. We bent the stand using a sheet metal brake. Because it was 1 8 inches thick, we had to bend it slowly in order to reduce the risk of cracking. We lightly sanded the stand to get rid of the rust from the water jet and obtain a nicer surface finish. This concludes the manufacturing portion of our project.